HIV.gov blog review special edition, Croy 2024. Before the conference opened, HIV.gov spoke with Nye Ad Director Dr. Jeannie Marazzo, who previewed studies on infants exposed to HIV, long-acting HIV treatment, the safety of a vaginal ring for HIV prevention during pregnancy, and the importance of supporting early career investigators. On day one, NIH's Dr. Carl Diefenbach highlighted research advances, including DoxyPep's success in reducing bacterial STIs, ongoing HIV vaccine trials, studies on broadly neutralizing antibodies, and long-acting PrEP. On day two, Dr. Laurent Nelson emphasized the vital role of community engagement in all aspects of HIV research. He stressed the importance of listening to community voices and introduced the NIH-funded HPTN-096 study, which aims to reduce HIV rates among black men who have sex with men in the southern U.S. On day three, Dr. Diefenbach discussed research on health complications of HIV, including semaglutide's effectiveness in reducing the severity of a common liver disease among people with HIV reprieve trial findings about a tool to assess the risk of cardiovascular events and safety of an HIV prevention vaginal ring in pregnancy. Two NIH-funded studies featured research on long-acting injectable art. One study found this form of art to be effective in people who previously experienced challenges taking daily oral regimens. The second study showed this form of art to be safe in adolescents with HIV. On day four, HIV.gov spoke with Dr. Deborah Persaud, who reported findings from a study that found that very early initiation of antiretroviral therapy may limit the establishment of HIV reservoirs in newborns, potentially enabling art-free remission. More evidence is needed before this method could be used outside strictly controlled research settings. Visit HIV.gov to read the full blogs, 